I, I call them should this, be critics. A, a, anybody who loves the nation, nation, anybody who loves the nation, should bear in mind that it should not. It's not about Tinubu. It's not about Tiku. It's not about anybody. It's about the country Nigeria. Yeah. My brother, this same so Tinubu issue has been investigated over and over again. Yes, please. We send that into the tribunal. The, the, the letter yeah. written by the U.S. to the Obasanjo made inquiries through the. Um, um, I I. Um, United States, uh, right. And a reply was given. Sure. I, that I, I, had no criminal finish, issue. Yeah, finish the point you're making. Yeah, so you, 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 you talk about pressing charge on who? President. Section 308 of the Constitution, closing with immunity. But fundamentally, under the section I mentioned earlier in the Constitution, it talks about when you can bring such allegation. Mm. The Chicago University writing a love letter to Nigeria or to INEC to, or to anybody. I am very, I'm not being emotional, I'm just being factual. It, 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 it's, a, it's, a, it's a ridiculous thing. We are indulging in irresponsibility of the highest order. You know when to bring up issues of forgery and what to do when it is ascertained that forgery has happened. I the only you, person, who, do it. The only person who's, in whose jurisdiction the issue of forgery should be read should start from INEC. They are the recipients of whatever is gamut of documents they receive. What is the essence of them receiving the document if they are not going to verify it? Are you now INEC that you will come from your own uh, sleep I'm going to begin to write to Chicago. If you write to Chicago and they say they don't have you, go home and stay with your document. If you, the proper thing for you to do is to write a petition to the Inspector General of Police to investigate the result, being that the Nigerian police is in the legal system mm. of the country. But obviously, if you're challenging the victory of someone yes. at an election. Yes. I mean, you, you have to marshal your evidence, don't you? Uh, when you marshal your evidence, and even if he points at the, uh, uh, if, even if he declares forgery, you have to hold your peace until it's over. Immunity has been invoked. There's nothing you can mm. do about it. And I can tell you for, for without sounding immodest, articles are attempt, or anybody's attempt, into the credentials of the person of Bola Ahmed Tinubu has to do with the 2026 election, not this election. 2027. 2027 election, right. not this election. They know what they are doing. The politicians are the only ones who are gods unto themselves that they know tomorrow. <laughs> so while they are contesting House of Rep, they are also contesting governor and also contesting senate and also contesting president. So you don't you you, you pity them. Well, I bet you the only doctors who are not living. The only doctors. I mean, you've been the only doctors who are not living the shores of Nigeria so far are the psychiatric yes, doctors, right. and I think they should make referrals right. to them. You see, we've been in the system. We've been the election pension since 1999. Yeah. To go be the group you have been involved since 1999 to date, and we know. The reason why some file petitions just to keep their names in the minds of their supporters, not necessarily to win, to keep their, to keep assuring their supporters that there is still a ray of hope, and we're selling. But you take on those cases, do you? What? I beg your pardon. I mean, do you take on those cases? Of course. I mean, it depends on what you tell your lawyer. Mm. Because I've had people blaming um, our colleagues from other side. You don't need to blame a lawyer because this is what you present to your lawyer that your lawyer will present in court. Your lawyer is not going to manufacture evidence for you. Mm. Like my brother here rightly pointed out, I never publish the subscription that we are giving to them. You have ample, within a time frame, within which to make your complaint. And if necessary, Inform the police as well as a document. There's a time frame which you wish to do that. So you can't just wake up on the wrong side of the bed one day to say, well, I want to go to Australia to go and fish. Uh, if you are going to make any complaint like this, it should be directed to INEC. And there's a time within which you do that. And there are people who are competent, who have locals to do that. It's not even open to everybody, every gentleman, Larry. See? 
It's open to only members of the, those parties. And it's a purely pre-election matter. Mm. Okay, just very briefly, because we're almost out of time. Is all this clear to you from a legal perspective? Is it all black and white, or are there gray legal areas that you think might lead us into murky waters? There is nothing gray. There is nothing ash. There is nothing black, even. It's clear. And there's nothing strange. There's nothing murky. There's no murky water anywhere. There's no murky water. The, the, the grounds are, like I said, Section 137, Sub 1J. Talks about forgery as one of the grounds. Where were you when they published this stuff? It's just like they keep serving you a process of court. You ignore them. They keep serving. The lower court gives judgment. You go on appeal. They keep serving you. They give you a brief of uh, 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 argument. You didn't file. You got, they got judgment against you. You went to Supreme Court. What were you doing? My brother, we've been passed through this route before. This issue of Sanctuary Doctrine. I've been tried before. So I've gone up to Supreme Court. What are they talking about? Well, on that note, I want to thank you very much indeed, both of you. Very, very illuminating listening to you um, talk to us about these very weighty matters at the moment. Adeni Akintola is a senior advocate of Nigeria and legal counsel to the APC, and Mike Mbanefo is a constitutional lawyer, and I might add from a pedigree of legal eagles in this country. Thank you very much indeed to both of you. Thank you. Thank you. That's it for this edition of Arise. The voyage of Sinbad. That's like uh, trying to bring Nicodemusly come into. Uh, besides that, the allegation is a very weighty one. Forgery. Just make, making the uh, allegations. We go into the witness where to be present. I mean, the thing is not, it's not a tea party. And those were the things they should have done during the primaries. But and, and they will not even have the locals. Right. Because they are not members. Of our party. Exactly. Yeah. But with all due respect, I ah, mean, all this e media e hype. Yeah. Well, with, with all due respect, both of you have very deep knowledge of the law. Um, but it sounds as if you're saying that if there is, and let's just assume for one second that there are anomalies of such weightiness that they could have a material impact on the result of the election and the future of the the sanctity of the presidency of the country you, you, you see my brother what, what you're saying is that what i'm trying to establish let, let me just make the point and, and i'll come to you just in a minute what i'm trying to establish is that i've heard i've seen analysts say that this is a question of substantial justice not about a technicality. And it seems to me that what you're talking about are technicalities. Mm -hmm. As so, that, that, that according to sort of the analysts, and you're an expert, so you tell me because I am not, if technicality becomes the issue, then it sounds like the Supreme Court is allowing potentially illegality to prevail in its decision Mr. Mojito, sir, I did, do, do you I, I, agree I, with I, 